this flow? What about the things I feel? The things I experience, hardships, joys, the small, simple things. You protect black women by allowing us to be human, to be soft, to be able to reach out and have somebody grab us back. And not inappropriately. I mean, like, you know, reaching out and you hold that person's hand if they need it to uplift. And so maybe you're super good at self-caring, but you have a friend who's always doing everything, working super hard, and you admire that person because they're doing all of these wonderful things. Maybe that person needs a break and they just need a reminder. And just say, hey. In my case, I'd be like, hey, sis. Have you had a nap recently? Are you eating well? How are you really feeling? Maybe we should schedule like a Zoom thing. Have you had some joy? And if you don't feel comfortable doing this in your relationships, just try one day and see what happens. Something really beautiful and magical can happen there. So, self-care. Give yourself grace. Refill your cup. Okay? Protect all black women, not just the ones that you like, not the ones that are just digestible, but all of us. We deserve to be listened to, honored, and taken care of, period. Like, I'm not even going to give additional anything about that and if you disagree you know this is a safe space for us black brown marginalized if you feel uncomfortable with what i've said then you may have to do some inner work because you might have been inspired by a black person So, you know, sometimes we got to check ourselves, too. And if you haven't found anything to enjoy or binge on, I definitely recommend Wagtan Mercado. Like, that's a lesson in humanity and just allowing yourself to fully experience life for sure. And y'all, it's been a late night with some thoughts on my mind. I will be having an interview next week. Stay tuned and always, always thank you for taking time out of your day to listen to my thoughts because I feel validated by doing so. So don't forget that you are magic. No te olvides que eres magia. Pablié o se magique. Thank you. And don't forget to support a black podcast this week. Highlight them. Check the show notes for how you can be a part of the movement and initiative. And um, be safe, y'all. Do some rituals. Do some self-care and some, some creative imagining of what you want your month to be. If you're listening, no later than Wednesday, because that's, you got like three days after today. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, you got till Thursday to vibe out with the new moon. So be safe, be blessed, wash your hands, wear a mask, all of the good things. See you next week. Bye-bye. 
Thank you for listening to the show. Check out our Patreon, the website in the show notes. Rate, review, and subscribe or share with the homie. And don't forget that you are magic. No te olvides que eres magia. Pablié o se magic. Take care and see you next week. So Anchor and I have been kicking it for as long as Creatively Exposed has been alive, which September. And I am amazed at how easy it is to record an episode, edit an episode when on the go, either on my phone or in my laptop. And I'm getting paid for it. I get this sponsorship and I don't need to have, you know, a huge listenership, which is pretty dope for the beginning. And it's free, y'all. So if you've been waiting to be heard on all of the sound waves, Apple, Google, etc., then this is your time. Get started on the Anchor app or online at anchor.fm and start that podcast today. Have you been lacking in the affirmation department or what about the inspiration department? I always say at the end of the episode, do not forget that you are magic. This is what Astrolytics is, an affirmation, a reminder, and a celebration of the magic, magia, and magic in you. Check out the website astrolytics.com and it is also in the show notes.